What's going on, Libra? This is going to be your love reading for February. Take a look at Libra's love reading for February. What's going on for Libra in love? We have journal it out. Write how you feel. It may be very beneficial for you to journal. For you to write out your feelings. Express your emotions at this time, Libra. Um, I feel like you're maybe going through a lot of emotions. So writing them out could be very beneficial for you at this time. At the bottom we have... Stay away from drama today. So definitely, definitely that may be very good advice. Staying away from drama. Let's see. Let's get another card for Libra. What's going on with Libra? This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So if you have Libra anywhere in your chart, this love reading is for you. Okay, we have Peace. I am a being of love and I release all the negative energy. So I feel like you're trying to find peace, Libra. You also have abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. Okay, so I feel like you're also manifesting something into your life. There's something that you're focused on. You may be manifesting love at this time, but I feel like there's definitely something that you are manifesting into your life and journaling it out. <clears throat> Setting clear intentions could be very uh, gratifying for you at this time. It could be very helpful to write out your intentions and write it in the present tense as if you have already received whatever it is that you're manifesting that's very important. We have the Nine of Cups. So whatever this is that you're manifesting, I feel like this is coming forward for you. This is your wishes being granted. Something is coming forward for you in a very strong way, Libra. Beautiful energy. What else do we have? We have the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like you're setting your priorities. Um, <clears throat> I feel like if this is love that you're manifesting, Libra, I feel like you, you have a lot to juggle. I feel like you have a lot of priorities. You have a lot of res responsibilities. And I feel like, you know, that's maybe delaying love a little bit because I feel like you're very focused. You have the King of Pentacles so I feel like I feel like you're you're bringing stability into your life um, Libra. This could be also a King coming into your life to help build that stability help build build a solid foundation so if you are interested in love i feel like you're being noticed someone's looking at you someone's recognizing you for your beauty libra i feel like you're being recognized it may be this king of pentacles who's recognizing you and i feel like this is someone who's very prosperous very wealthy very well to do this could be someone who holds a very high position or this could be someone who has everything that they need but I feel like you are the creator of your story you are manifesting this in a very big way and look at this the, the magician is coming right below the nine of cups so I feel like your wishes are being created your wishes are being granted beautiful energy Libra see we have the three of swords in reverse 
Okay, yeah, we have the Three of Swords in reverse. So I feel like this is you coming out of your heartbreak. This is you taking a look at your priorities so that you can make room for whatever is being manifested. Um, I feel like this Three of Swords in reverse, I feel like you're taking a look at your life, taking a look at where love will actually fit into your life, where you have room to place this this love that's coming through for you. We have the death. So I feel like this King of Pentacles energy is going to fully transform into the situation that you're hoping for. This is transformation. This is something coming to an end so that something bigger, something better, something beautiful can come into your life. So I feel like as something ends, something beautiful is about to begin. Now this could be an ending to your doubts, to your fears, to any, uh, to let, letting go of your past and moving forward. You know, this is the death of something in your past that's holding you back and you moving forward with this King of Pentacles, you know, and I feel like that's very beautiful energy because I see this King of Pentacles really noticing you. He's really taking a look. He's seeing Libra for all of her beauty, all of her, um, all of the things that she can offer and we have the Knight of Wands. So this is the card of adventure. So this transformation, look at this. He's looking straight at this transformation. He's looking on to the what is being manifested. But the Knight of Wands, he's the card of adventure. And I feel like this is a new journey that you're going on. This is going to be a new phase in your life with this Knight of Wands. This is also... An offer that's coming in that's very passionate, very giving. Something that's going to bring you a lot of confidence and self-assurance. With the Knight of Pentacles, he's a free spirit. He's also very creative. He's going on this journey because he's expecting great things to happen. He has that passion and that drive to make whatever he is manifesting into action. You know, he's a go-getter. He doesn't just sit back and wait for something to happen. He goes out and he looks for it. So this could be telling you to get out there and be noticed. Uh, socialize, go to gatherings, you know, put yourself out there, take a risk, take your risk. This is definitely a new journey that you're going on. This is definitely going to take you to brand new places. This is you going on this new journey. <clears throat> now, the fool is actually walking this path without realizing, without really understanding the direction they're going or the destination they're just moving because the universe wants them to move in that direction so i feel like this is having faith that whatever that you're manifesting is coming towards you and it's coming towards you in a very big way i feel like it's in the works it's coming very strongly what else do we have for libra the moon beautiful we have the moon. This is voluntary change. This is changes that are coming because of things that you've done. The work that you've done. You know, these are changes that are being made because you're trusting in your position. You're trusting in the direction that you're moving in. The moon can also be unforeseen problems or delays, but I'm I'm feeling I'm I'm not feeling anything negative with this moon. I feel like this is good changes coming your way. The moon is also feminine energy. So I feel like with this the full card in the moon, I feel like you're trusting in the process, Libra. You have trust in the process. Look at this. Oh my gosh. The lovers. 
definitely new love coming in. And it's coming in because you're you're moving in the right direction. You're moving towards this King of Pentacles. Towards this King who's taking notice of you. He's watching you. He's going to set you on a pedestal. Because I feel like with the Lover's card, this is you finding that soulmate. Finding that position. Finding that one who's going to make you very happy. Yes, the Six of Swords. So you're definitely moving into this new direction. You're moving into love. You're finding this love. Or this king is finding you. But you're moving into a calmer, more tranquil place. And I feel like this could be literally you moving to another direction. Or moving to a new destination. You could be literally moving or traveling to see the King of Pentacles. Or he could be traveling to see you. But you're definitely moving. You're making plans. Beautiful. I'm loving this. And we have the Five of Swords. So definitely, definitely there are going to be some challenges that you're going to face. I feel like with moving in this direction, there may be a challenge with travel plans or there may be a challenge with meeting up. But the the King of Pentacles, he's here. He's waiting. He may be traveling to see you. There may be some kind of delays in your meeting. But I feel like this is on the way. This is definitely beautiful energy. And we have the Seven of Cups. So there may be some commitment issues. I feel like with this Two of Pentacles here next to this King of Pentacles, I feel like there's some kind of issue making plans because it's it's hard to set a date. I feel like they're saying, "Oh, I'm free on this day," and you're saying, "Oh, no, I'm not. I'm not free on that day. I'm free on this day." So I feel like there's going to be some delays with finding time to meet finding time to meet this person or having time to to get together so that's going to be something that that's going to be a challenge for you but i feel like this is going to be a happy change this is a turning point for you libra and i feel like love is turning in your direction this is putting you into a new direction this is the page of wands the page of wands is very very immature energy. Um, so the person that you're meeting with may be a little younger than you. Or you may be a little younger than them. But I feel like with this page. This page is just at the beginning of their journey. So I feel like with this love situation. You're just at the beginning of the journey. You have a long destination to go. To grow. To get to know this person. To take your time and really enjoy each other we have the ace of wands definitely new beginnings new fire new passion you're definitely moving to meet with this person i feel like this is coming very very soon if you're if you're not already in the process of meeting with this person i feel like it's coming very quickly I feel like you're going to be very surprised when you meet this King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles could be an earth sign. He doesn't have to be, but he can be an earth sign. That's Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Um, let's see, what else do we have for Libra? The sun. Beautiful. This is going to bring so much happiness. So much happiness is coming your way, Libra. Beautiful energy. Now, I'm going to take a look at, at your person's energy. I'm going to take a look at your person's energy. I'm going to take a look at your energy. Okay, what energy do we have for Libra? Sun, moon, and rising. What what energy do we have for Libra, please? What energy do we have for Libra? 
we have look inside yourself examine what is causing you to feel this way okay and I feel like you're having a little bit of anxiousness you're feeling a little anxious because there may be delays what else do we have for Libra friendship nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve so yeah I feel like getting to really know this person becoming a friend before you become a lover is very important to build that nurturing bond with this person you know very important what do we have for this person only time will tell so they're focused on getting to know you as well you know they want to know where this moves where where is this going where is this energy going is this person going to be the right fit for me and we have a message for you i'm thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light i love you so i feel like this person is definitely looking for a strong commitment a strong commitment that they want to endure you know that they want to build a life with i feel like this person this king of pentacles energy is looking for that stability the king of pentacles he's very loyal he's very stable he likes long-term energy and i feel like that's exactly what this person is taking their time to focus on you know they want to make sure everything is right everything is set into place um, everything feels good you know and we have the mirror mirroring each other self-image relationships reflect our wounds introspection so i feel like you could be mirroring this person i feel like your intentions kind of match this person's intentions they match so a lot of your energies could be mirroring each other for them we have healing heart healing from heartbreak freedom from toxic relationships or addictions so yeah i feel like this person may have been coming out of some kind of relationship that you know maybe they broke up with someone kind of recently maybe they're still in that healing process maybe that's why it's taken them so much time to really uh, put their stuff out there to really make a commitment to libra at the bottom libra we have wedding rings so this definitely could turn out to be your soulmate your love with that lover's card you know and and the sun um i definitely feel like this is a union that was made in heaven so libra this is what i have for you so if this reading resonates please like and subscribe hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads and take a look at your sun moon and rising for more clarity um, i'll be uploading most of the week so you'll be able to come back and look at your sun moon and rising in love um, later on through the week okay libra and to your next message Many blessings to you, love and light.